So you just got a brand new tattoo and you're wondering if you could go and take a shower with it. Well, the short answer is yes. However, you need to make sure you're going about showering with the new tattoo the right way. Because if you don't, it can be an unpleasant experience for you. And on top of that, it can ruin the way the tattoo looks. And I'm sure you don't want that. So let's first start off by talking about how soon after you get a new tattoo, can you shower? Well, that really depends on how the tattoo artist went about wrapping your new tattoo after you left the tattoo shop. For example, if your tattoo artist wraps the new tattoo up with a clear wrap, then realistically, as soon as you get home, you can remove it, let it air out for about an hour, and then realistically, jump right in the shower if you want to. However, if your tattoo artist uses a product like Saniderm, then most likely they're going to recommend you not taking a shower to the following day. And I know that sucks, but you always want to listen to your tattoo artist because realistically, they know best. On that second day when you do decide to go shower, you want to make sure you're removing the Saniderm that your tattoo artist applied, wash the tattoo thoroughly, and then go about and applying your own Saniderm bandage. When you do put on the Saniderm, make sure the tattoo is completely sealed up because I experienced some problems where I thought the tattoo was completely sealed with the Saniderm, I got into the shower, and then next thing you know, a bunch of water seeped in under the Saniderm over the new tattoo. If that were to happen, you need to make sure you're removing the Saniderm completely and drying off the tattoo because if that water stays underneath of the Saniderm, it can cause problems and also affect the way your tattoo looks. So just be mindful of that. When it is time for you to go and shower, I recommend you prepare before you get in. What do I mean by that? Well, you wanna make sure that you're bringing in your antibacterial soap, a fresh clean towel, and fresh paper towels into the bathroom with you, just so you have it there. Now, once you have all your stuff with you, the next thing to do is to prep the water temperature. I am someone that personally loves hot showers, and realistically, who doesn't? But if you have a new tattoo, you can't be taking these piping hot showers that we all love. Hot water causes steam and steam can literally open up your pores and you having that fresh tattoo, the ink in the tattoo is still settling into your skin. And if your pores open up, you can cause the ink to actually weep out. And once a tattoo ends up healing up, it could appear a lot more dull than what it actually was supposed to look like. You wanna keep as much ink into your skin as possible because it'll make the tattoo look better longer. Longer. Lukewarm showers is the way, but realistically, if you can go and take a colder shower if possible, that's even better because the cold water will soothe that tattoo and it just feels nice. Now, no matter what temperature you choose the shower to be, you need to make sure that once you're getting into that shower, that the stream of the shower head does not make full contact with your new tattoo because it's not gonna feel good whatsoever. It could affect the way the tattoo looks, irritate it, and just it's just not a fun experience so just be mindful when getting in you know now that you and your tattoo are in the shower and it's time to wash your body i recommend doing this in two different stages the first stage is to wash your whole body besides the tattoo area of course with your favorite shampoo conditioner and body wash that you use on a daily basis but when you're washing your body you want to make sure you're being super careful that none of the suds of those products flow over the tattoo because even though those products are great for cleaning your body, they contain some pretty nasty chemicals that you don't want anywhere near your new tattoo because it could end up screwing it up or, you know, end up uh, irritating the tattoo, which that's also a nightmare. So you don't want that either. Stage two is to go and wash your new tattoo with whatever unscented antibacterial soap you choose. Now, for the love of God, don't use any type of shower accessories like rags or, you know, the sponges or anything like that because they could be really harmful to the skin. And remember, your tattoo, your new tattoo is an open wound and it just won't be good for that tattoo. So avoid doing those and using those. I know you might be used to using those shower accessories every day to wash your body, but with the new tattoo, just use your hands. And you wanna make sure when washing it that you're removing all the blood and plasma off of it because you don't want that to, to stay over top of the tattoo. Now here's a pro tip that I don't hear anybody talking about, but it is just such a, such a great tip, such a chef's kiss as a tip, if you will. And that is at the last 30 seconds of your shower, turn the water as cold as you can get it and rinse off that new tattoo just like you see here doing this that cold water will close up your pores nice and tight trapping the ink into the skin better making that tattoo look so much more vibrant once it heals up completely and also when you shower with the new tattoo you want to make sure the whole showering process is as quick as possible 
You wanna get in, get clean, get out, and when you do go and get out and it's time for you to dry off, make sure you're using the paper towels to dry off the tattoo. Do not use the clean towel that we talked about earlier. Even though your towel is fresh and clean, it still has the possibility of holding bacteria in it. And you don't want that in your new tattoo because it can cause an infection. And also on top of that, the fabric on the towel could be a little bit too rough for a brand new healing tattoo. So just use the towel to dry off the rest of your body. Once you're done showering and the tattoo is all nice and dry, you can go about healing the tattoo whatever way you choose. Not to brag, but I came up with the perfect way to go about healing your tattoos. It's quick, effortless, and the tattoos heal up perfectly. Check out the video right here on how I do so, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.